Hello and welcome to a new episode of Versus, the show where we compare two aircraft models. In today's episode, we will take a closer look at 2.777-300ER in the scale 1 to 500. Both are of the latest generation of the respective manufacturers, one from Harper Wings and one from Sky 500. In this comparison, we will take a closer look at the details these aircraft models have to offer. This includes the physical details and the print quality, but not the livery as such. For this comparison, we have chosen the Virgin Australia from Hamper Wings and the China Airlines from Sky 500. The main reason for that is that both liveries of these aircrafts are relatively wide and have an equal amount of details. The layout of the box is relatively similar for both manufacturers on the front side. Both have the cutout so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft inside and both have the branding of the respective airline printed on the front side. The main difference here is really the difference in size as the box of Harper Wings is considerably smaller than the one of Sky 500. More differences can however be found on the back side of the box. On the back side of the Harper box we have a very nice image of the aircraft. We have the original dimensions and some more information. Sometimes with Hapa Wings we will only be provided with a web link for more information, but we will always have an image of the aircraft itself, which is really nice. If we compare now with the Sky 500 box, well, the feeling is kind of underwhelming, as we have little to no information on the Sky 500 box. We really do only have the Sky 500 branding. So if we compare all the aspects of the boxes, for me the Hapa Wings box simply reflects higher quality, more effort and is therefore a clear winner. But let's check out if that also goes for the aircraft model itself. The first thing we want to check out is if these aircraft have the same height. Why do you ask? Well, both manufacturers claim that these aircraft models are true to scale. That means that all the details should be exactly the same. Now that means, for example, the landing gear should have the same scale ratio and therefore the aircraft should be the same height. The good news is, they are. If we then move a bit closer and look at the landing gear, the front landing gear more specifically, we can see some subtle differences here. Now any airline will have some form of information or something written at the front with the landing gear. This has been printed on with the Sky 500 model, but it hasn't with the Harper Wings model. And that is actually something that Harper Wings often misses out on. However, I do prefer the wheel design on the Harper model over the Sky 500 model. So kind of points on both sides. Also in the back of the aircraft, we have the case of kind of points on both sides. Now, I do like that Hapwings has printed on the detail of the exhaust for the APU. That is missing with the Sky 500 model. I do also prefer how Harper has integrated the horizontal stabilizer into the fuselage over the way Sky 500 has done it. But I do prefer the physical details of the vertical stabilizer with the Sky 500 model. Now the wings are also really interesting. We do have a few differences in the markings on the wing. However, if that is down to a difference from the manufacturer or from the airlines themselves, I can't say. But what I can say is that the print quality on both is equally good. However, there are some differences in the physical details. Now I do prefer the flaps and the speed brakes on the Harper Wings model on the left side. But on the other hand, I do prefer the slats on the Sky 500 model on the right side. It is also quite interesting when we go to the wing tips. Now, these are both Boeing 777-300ER. They should be identical. But you can see there's a slight difference in how the details around the wing tips are pronounced. And I do very much prefer the Sky 500. It just seems more detailed, slightly more refined over the Harper Wings model. Now the underside of the wings are pretty much identical. There isn't much difference here, except of course for the few details that we have already talked about for the top side of the wings. Now from subtle differences to very obvious differences, we are going to the engines. If we look into them, we can see the fan blades on both, but I do prefer the way it's been designed with the Sky 500 model. And that's not just because I managed to get a better shot 
of the Sky 500 aircraft engine, but they are just in real life looking better. The backside is very much identical, but the major difference really comes when we take a look at the engine as cell. Now, both aircraft are the same aircraft type. They're both powered with the General Electric GE90 115B engines and should be completely identical, but they're not. The engine SL of the Sky 500 model is considerably bigger. In my opinion, Sky 500 nails it with the engines. They look much more detailed and the details they have look nicer than the ones from Happer. The last detail we would like to compare are the cockpits or more specifically the cockpit windows. And in this case, they are really next to identical. It's really, really tough to make any difference here. The physical configuration is pretty much spot on with both of them. And the print quality is also equally good. Now, picking a winner is really tough. Both of the aircraft models are in a really high class. The quality of them is really great. The details are good. The print quality is excellent. There are small subtle differences in the details. Sometimes I prefer the Hap Wings model. Sometimes I prefer the Sky 500 model. So it is tough, but there's one detail that made the difference and that is the engine. The engines of the Sky 500 model just look that much better than from the Hap Wings model. So the Sky 500 model is my pick in this contest. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, that would be very nice. Or if you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. And with that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.